chanterelles. Very small chanterelles. We won't be picking these today. This is the kind of patch that makes a chanterelle hunter very happy. These make up a large part of our winter food storage. Today, we are going on an adventure. We are going to look for chanterelle mushrooms. I can almost guarantee we're gonna find a bunch, but you never know. Someone else could have been here, bugs could have eaten them, but let's take a little hike and see what we can find. This forest that we're in is a mix of hardwood and softwood. There's a lot of birch growing in this forest. There is a lot of hemlock growing in this forest, spruce, various pine, maple. It's a very diverse area. And in particular, the areas that I'm going to focus on have not been logged in years, a long time. So everything is still intact, which is something that chanterelles really like. They definitely prefer old growth type forests. So we're gonna just start walking around out here and see what we can see. To start off with, the main thing that we are going to be looking for is the color yellow. Now, when you look around here, there's a lot of yellow and it can get somewhat confusing. But, with any luck, some of those yellow things that we see will turn out to be chanterelle mushrooms. You can see something yellow hiding under that log over there. That looks like an Amanita muscaria. Pretty far along though. And I'm not 100% sure that's what it is. I see some yellow over here. No, it's a leaf. But I see some yellow over here. Chanterelles, very small chanterelles. We won't be picking these today, but there's a larger one there. That one is quite slug eaten. Still a slug having its dinner there. And very dirty. I think we'll leave this one for the slugs. A couple more down there. Another over there. These are all too small though. I'm sure we're going to find some much bigger mushrooms than these. I think we will follow this trail down to the river because I have found them down here in the past. Areas like this are excellent spots to look for chanterelles. We're down in just a little bit of a gorge here. It's not really too deep at all. You can see all this moss growing. They love to grow in this moss. It's also quite a bit cooler down here and it's a little wetter just from the environment with the water, the, the river, things like that. Just a nice environment, especially on a hot day. Okay, I can see something yellow up here. Leaves, just leaves. I can see more yellow over here. This looks like the real thing. Yes. Those are better sized chanterelles. Nice ones. A few more growing in here. More up here. Another one right over there. When I harvest chanterelles, my preference is to use a knife. The main reason for that, oh, that guy just popped right off. The main reason for that though, is just to keep your mushrooms clean. 
Now, there's a little bit of dirt on there, but you can see, if I was to just pull them like that, we've got all this dirt and gunk that's gonna end up in your bag with your mushrooms, which is going to mean more cleaning once we get home, which I'm not terribly interested in, so we're just gonna cut it off like that. Pop them into the bag. Just like so. They're kind of growing everywhere along this slope here. Most of these are pretty small, so I'm gonna leave them and come back for them. So much out here that can trick your eyes. More yellow. Time to cross the river. More spots on the other side here. Oh, that feels nice. It's so hot today. 30 degrees Celsius. find over on this side. Huh, it's usually a bunch growing in this area. Huh. I say that and look at that. That's a decent sized mushroom there. That's for sure guy in there. I seem to recall this area though was mid-August the last couple of years. So they're just late bloomers in here. There's another one there. Oh, and a couple more here. Bad start. There's some neat looking stuff right there. I can see some yellow. Again, it's amazing how your eyes get tricked out here with all of the colors. little ones growing in here. Tiny, tiny, tiny. A couple more over there. We're gonna let these grow. Here's a few. Some more in here. seeing the huge patches we'd really like to see. More right over here too. These are all worth harvesting. Oh! Now what do we have up here? Some there. More up there. We're gonna have to climb up here and see what's up top because this is looking good. I'm gonna get these couple big ones that I can reach from here though. Much nicer size. Slug's eating that one. It's okay. Let's go up top. Oh, there's just nowhere easy to do this in here. The places we will go for mushrooms. Look, there's one right there on my way up. Nice. 
Alright. And a bunch more right here. Clean those up in a second here. I really want to see that other patch that we just found. It's so thick in here though. This is a nice patch here. Starts here, carries on. Down here, some up in there. These are all really nice size too. All kinds of them down here. Going in amongst the roots up here. Down there. Look at them all. This is the kind of patch that makes a chanterelle hunter very happy. Just give me a minute or two here to deal with this patch. Just beautiful mushrooms. These are so tasty. And we're not done yet. We just keep going over this way too. so many of them and again a lot of these smaller mushrooms I'm just gonna leave I'll come back for them you can see how they like this mossy stuff probably 90% of the time I find these that's what they're growing in Moss. We're already getting pretty close to a full bag here. That's got to be a couple pounds at least. Nice looking mushrooms. Yes, indeed. Another nice patch. More of them up in there. Down here. And over there. Okay. This is almost too easy today. Again, these smaller ones in this spot, I'm going to just leave here. Come back in a few days, maybe a week. Some more in there, some more there. But I've spotted another patch right over here. No shortage of chanterelles right now, which is a good thing. These make up a large part of our winter food storage. And we will carry on onto the second bag. Not bad, I'm not even half an hour into this yet, and we're actually still just getting to the most beautiful sections of this river. So I'm hoping I don't run out of room in my bags here before we even get there. I love it out here. So nice. 
Come for a walk in the forest near the river on a ridiculously hot day like today. Most folks know I am not really a fan of summertime, except for the growing food aspects and the foraging aspects. There's the river down there. And there's a tree. Steep slope, but that's where the mushrooms are. We've made it to the top of a pretty big waterfall here. This basically is the makeup of every river that flows into Lake Superior in this area. It's just cascading waterfalls everywhere dumping down into Lake Superior. It's just beautiful. Oh, what do we have here? Another nice big patch. Hiding under the leaves here. These bags are getting so filled up, I'm going to have to dump them into the bigger bag. Oops. Looking good. All right, I think we're gonna call it quits for today. That's definitely a decent haul. That's gotta be at least four, maybe five pounds in there. I don't know. We'll weigh it up when we get back to the Wilderstead. All righty. Let's weigh it up and see what we've got here. Got the scale teared, zero. Not a bad start to the Chanterelle season, three and a quarter pound. Now comes the hard part, getting it all cleaned up, getting it ready for the dehydrator, and we will definitely eat a bunch of these tonight.